Our electrician Heath and his crew have been installing fixtures and pulling wires for weeks. They all come down here to the basement heat, terminate in two new electrical breaker panels. They do. Um, you're getting rid of the old kind, not using it anymore. Why is that? So on a conventional panel, we've had a knockout on the side of the top that you would have knocked out. They'd put a cable connector in it, and that's where your wire would slide in. Right. It literally would have gone into the hole, so we've got access and secure it. Exactly. Then once inside, normally the neutral would connect to the neutral bar, and the hot wire would connect directly to the breaker. And if we had to, we'd use an arc fault or a GFI breaker that had a pigtail. All right. So we know about GFCI, right? That's mm -hmm. near sinks, wet areas. Outdoors, basements, that kind of thing. Okay. Arc fault is? A little different. So arc fault would be used in habitable spaces, so your living room, dining room, bedrooms, kitchens, mm -hmm. that's where it's required. And all of those breakers, GFC arc fault, have that pigtail? I have this pigtail. So what, now two white wires to this neutral bar? So what would happen is we'd have to take this breaker, put this in, install this pigtail to the neutral bar, and then the white wire that would normally go here actually goes to the breaker. Gotcha, okay. So that's the old way. Tell me about the new way. The advantage to this is, first thing, as far as coming into the top, we don't need the connector anymore. It has a slot that we can actually slide the wire into, or multiple wires. Oh, interesting. Put those in put a cap on, yep. hold everything into place. And that's what it looks like when it's all done, but over here you get a sense of Shows what it looked it like when you, you just literally push it in through here and it kind of grabs it? That's it. Okay. Yep. The other advantage is, is this has a neutral bar that actually carries the whole way down that's picked up by the breaker. We don't actually have to bring that pigtail to the neutral bar itself. So you've got a neutral here, a hot neutral on this side? Exactly. And the advantage to that is this breaker has both built in now. So built in meaning one of these represents the pigtail? So one would be hot. That would be the neutral that would replace the pigtail. And instead of tying that in, you just simply click this into place. Oh, interesting. So now you're not making up 20, 30 pigtails with that. No, and the thing is, in Massachusetts now, we have to put arc ball protection on everything, which means this panel is full of all those pigtails. We're out of physical room to put these in. We'd have to put 40 of these in this panel into that neutral bar. A lot more right. wire, a lot more steps, <laughs> a lot more space. So what's so nefarious about arc faults that Massachusetts is requiring every breaker to protect against them? So they're trying to stop any kind of arc and making sure it stops from a fire. So if you ever unplugged a vacuum cleaner when it's running, <laughs> never done it, <laughs> never done that, and you see that little arc, that's what this breaker would sense, something like that. If it sees that, it's going to trip. So if you had a wire under a rug, uh, if you had a nick in a wire in a wall, someone put a screw through it or a nail, that's when you're going to have the potential for seeing an arc. And this would be your nick, your damaged wire? Exactly. So you could have an arc from here to here with that nick, or it could actually jump across. The breaker would see that arc and shut it down to keep us from having a fire. But if we didn't have that breaker, we would have basically uncontained electricity. No insulation on the conductors. They could sit there and arc, and it may not trip a conventional breaker. All right. Well, you did a beautiful job putting everything together. Your thoughts now that you've wired up your first one? I like it. Hopefully the next one goes faster. There you go. I'll leave you that because you don't need them anymore. <laughs> Thanks, Heath. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.